All right, everybody, we are back in our project and back in band lab. That's right. Last time we worked on recording some vocals and actually putting some preset effects processing on those vocals. Today, we're going to get a little more into detail about the different kinds of effects you can put not only on your vocals, but on any sound and exactly what each effect can do. But first, let's just give a listen to the greatest track ever made. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly in a sandwich. So what I'm going to do is instead of messing with the vocals, which have our presets on them, I'm going to go over to the drum machine. So I'll click on 808 kit. And if I just want to hear my drum machine, I'll slide this open and I'll click that S so that it's the only active track in our session. I'll hit play and we can hear just the drums. So let's double click this icon and open up our drum kit. What I'm going to do is click that effects icon in the bottom center of the screen. Now here you can see that there are presets here as well. So I'll just show you some of the presets. I'll press play and cycle through. Now keep in mind that each of these presets is made up of several effects run one after the other. So you can see in this case, we have a graphic EQ and a space maker reverb. First, we're gonna focus on compression and EQ. I'm gonna go to where it says none and I create my own custom preset. That's right, you can design your own. I'll hit that plus sign and here it says add your first effect. I'll hit the plus sign up here and now I have my options. BandLab automatically recommends you the most often used effects, but I'm gonna show you first and foremost, EQ, also known as equalizer. You can find your equalizers by going to the top row and scrolling all the way to the right to where it says tone. And here we have our three options for EQs or equalizers. The one that makes the most sense visually and for learning the concept of what an equalizer does is our graphic EQ. So I'll go ahead and click that. So what is an equalizer? An equalizer is an effect that lets you adjust the frequencies of a sound or instrument. So you can see here that we have all these numbers on the left hand side and as they go towards the bottom of the screen, the numbers get higher and higher. As those numbers get higher, the frequency gets higher as well. So a low frequency would be a low note or a low tone or if you're a Disney fan, oh, uh -huh. hi Mickey, that goofy voice. And a high number would be a high frequency or a high note, way up here. Those are our higher notes. And when we look at these green bars to the right, we actually have control of how much of this frequency is gonna be included in the sound. Now in this case, because we're using our drum beat, if I click play, I can hear my drum beat playing in the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna adjust these and pay attention to how the sound of the drum beat changes. All right, so you can see that our low frequencies here really amplify the kick drum, that thumping low sound. And you can see that our higher frequencies starting at 6,400 hertz really amplify our hi-hat, that t -t 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 sound. And in the middle here, we really amplify our snare drum, that clap sound that helps us keep the beat and keeps us dancing. So the way you adjust your EQ is largely up to taste. To me personally, the drum beat as is sounds a little bit boring. I want to amplify that low end, that thump sound, bring up that high hi-hat as well, and then get a little more of that smack attack right in the middle. So I'll try it out like this. That is feeling really good to me. It's feeling a little more intense, a little more in my face. So we actually will have to use the level to balance that out. The more we boost individual frequencies, the more we'll have to lower the level. So I'm gonna turn the level around to six dB and we're gonna check that it's about the same volume with the EQ and without it.
Speaking of volume, let's start looking at our next effects plugin. We'll hit the plus sign, and this time we're gonna go to compressors. You can find the compressors under dynamics. Now dynamics is basically a fancy word for a range of volume. It means how loud a sound is or how soft a sound is. And what a compressor does is reduce that range. So instead of letting a sound get super loud and super soft, it's gonna bring those two extremes together to get a sound that's more in the middle. The easiest compressor to understand in BandLab is the TechLab BA2A. So let's start there. Now on this compressor, we only have two knobs, gain and peak reduction. Gain is another way of saying volume, but specifically, it's the volume of the sound going into the compressor. So in this case, it's gonna turn up our drum beat. If we turn up the gain, we'll turn up our drum beat before it gets to the compressor. Let's hear what that sounds like. So you probably noticed that when I turned the gain up, the sound started to distort. It got fuzzy and buzzy and a little gnarly. Let's hear that again. So the sound is now going into the compressor a little too loud and the compressor is having to squash it. And that's what that distorted, smashed sound is. Now let's talk about peak reduction. Let's take a look at this audio wave. This is the sound of a clap. We can see that there's a sharp beginning and then the sound waves get lower and lower until they basically disappear. If we run this through a compressor, we'll take that peak sound at the very beginning and reduce it. And at the same time, we'll bring up the rest of the sound wave. So let's hear what this peak reduction or compression sounds like. I'm gonna first put it to zero so it doesn't work at all. And then I'm gonna slowly increase it and we're gonna see how it changes the sound. Now the loudest part of this drum beat is the kick drum, that low, deep thump sound. And when we turn up the peak reduction, that kick drum especially gets quieter and quieter. When using compression on a drum kit like this, it's very, very easy to do too much. So let's try to put it just to taste now. Let's see before and after. A little addition of gain at the end there really made it sound full. The other compressors in BandLab basically do the same thing, but with more controls. For example, in this BL1176 compressor, we have input, output, attack, release, and ratio. Input is the input gain, how much the volume is going into the compressor. Output is how much volume comes out of the compressor. Attack is gonna be how fast the compressor starts to work on that sound wave. Does it come in right when we hear the peak? like zero milliseconds, or does it wait a while until after the peak to really bite down on the sound and squash it? Like here, 10 milliseconds. Release is how fast the compressor lets go of the sound or stops working. Does it release immediately after it attacks, or does it hold on to the sound and keep it squashed? Lastly, ratio is exactly what it sounds like. It's the ratio of volume going into the compressor versus how much goes out. In this case, an eight to one ratio, we have for every eight decibels of volume, only one decibel comes out. That's a lot of compression. Again, this kind of compressor is a little more complicated, so we're just gonna stay with our TechLab BA2A for now. Now that we've covered both our equalizer and our compressor, let's see the combined effect of both of them. I'll turn them both off, play the beat, and then turn them both on to compare. The kick drum and the snare hit a little bit harder and overall the drum sound is more in your face. Now we have to put it back into context with our beat. Here we go. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly in a sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly. All right, so that's it for EQ and compression. Remember that you can use these effects on any sound. We only did the drum kit today, but try it out on your melodic instrument, on your chords, and even on your voice to see what happens. Great job today, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.